everybody happy weekend today is saturday um i woke up and i actually had i literally rolled out of bed and with the crust still in my eyes and my stank dinosaur breath <laughs> i attended a zoom wedding <laughs> um my girlfriend slash cousin um back in toronto got married actually she got married in america but anyways she got married today and it was my first zoom nikah and it was just like so cute and i'm really happy for them so congratulations to the couple um but yeah last night was really fun i had my manager kirsten over the food was so good i didn't really get time to like show you guys it at the end because by that time we were starving and i was just taking way too long so <laughs> i think i showed like a, a quick little clip and then Shaht actually came over as well with some kanafa so we enjoyed that it was Kirsten's first time having kanafa and she was like shook she freaking loved it so that made me really happy and then by the time I like cleaned up and everything it was like 1 a.m. or maybe even 1 30 um, and I was exhausted so then yeah this morning I just had a pretty chill morning and I got this new set from Nixwear. It's like a Canadian brand, but they just came out with new loungewear and oh my God, is it soft. It's literally the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. It reminds me so much of my Barefoot Dreams robe, but this is like a whole set and like, it's crazy because this entire set is like cheaper than one of their robes. So yeah, but it literally feels the same. I love it so much. And yeah, I've just been lounging around. I'm actually waiting on someone right now from OfferUp because I'm selling my dining chairs. I listed them. I bought them for like about $100 each and I listed them for like $200. So, I mean, I'm getting 50% back, which is quite great. Um, so I'm happy about that. So I just put it... Um, I always get so nervous selling things on OfferUp, especially when I'm here alone because like... What if they're a cereal filler? But you know, hopefully, inshallah, I'm safe. But yeah, I'm just selling all of those. And then I think all that's left to sell is probably my coffee table, which is right there, my old coffee table um, over there. So yeah, and then I'm pretty much good. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it out there for a while because I may potentially just like wanna keep it outside and use it as like a little table if I'm doing work or whatever i don't know but then i might sell it too so i'm just kind of like leaving it there for now because i i think i want to get an egg chair to put in the corner of my balcony i don't know if i ever showed you guys my balcony i'm just taking that in i totally forgot to show you guys in my empty apartment tour but my balcony is like goals like i freaking love this balcony so much it is massive i have to be kind of careful showing you guys but i want to get a egg chair for this corner because it would just be like so perfect Oops, almost tripped <laughs> It would just be so perfect because I just have this massive corner and yeah I feel like an egg chair would look perfect there but this is the balcony you know it's it's nice and spacious which is great I can kind of like chill out here whenever I want have some breakfast and whatnot and overlook the messy or the, uh, the loud street but yeah I don't know if I'm keeping this or not because I feel like if I get rid of it I could potentially get some sort of like workout equipment and just work out here but I don't know I'm just kind of keeping it open for now but it's so pretty at nighttime because I'm here hung up all the oh god this door is so ghetto but I'm here hung up the string lights and it's just so pretty at nighttime so today I'm keeping it kind of chill once I sell those things I think I'm honestly just gonna like relax because I think I deserve it I've had a very busy week I'm gonna send some more vlog footage over to my editor so that she could edit those and they can go up sometime next week. I do have to film a video at some point, which I don't know if I wanna film it tonight or tomorrow. I feel like if I just film it tonight, like I'll get it out of the way. I'm filming like another skincare and chill. Yeah, that's basically it, but the apartment is looking cute as heck. I am loving it so, so much. Oh, oh my God, I almost forgot. Okay, I actually, I believe I got my two chairs that are gonna be over here. I believe they just got delivered, finally. So I'm gonna go downstairs and pick those up as well when the people that are buying my chairs come over. And then I feel like my living room will pretty much be complete. Like I feel like that's just gonna complete the whole living room, the little chairs over there. And then I also ordered this massive mirror from our house that's gonna go over here. It's like, you guys have probably seen a similar mirror before on like anthropology or whatever. It's like that gold 
really beautiful like it almost looks like an art piece but it's also a mirror um, so I ordered that to go over here because I don't have many mirrors in this apartment my last apartment had mirrors like in all the bedrooms but this one doesn't so I every time I have to like check out my outfit I have to go all the way in my office which is kind of annoying sometimes so I feel like the mirror will just kind of like open up this space, reflect really good light, and just look beautiful. So I'm excited for that to come in. I really hope it comes before I go back to Toronto. So we'll just pray for that, inshallah. But yeah, having a good day. I will check in with you guys a little later, actually, when I get the chairs. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Chairs have been sold. New chairs have arrived. Bus is really loud. The very kind man and security guard downstairs <laughs> um, helped me bring up one of the packages so I didn't have to like drag them both up here myself. So alhamdulillah for that person, thank you. Um, I was hoping they would come already assembled but unfortunately they have not. So I think it's finally time that I assemble the first piece of furniture in my new place. <laughs> Literally Amir has been doing all of this in the past. So unfortunately, my time has come. All right guys, here is one of the chairs. I am like overjoyed with this chair right now. It looks so good. Oh my god! Look at me and my fancy little cane chair, y'all! MashaAllah, this is actually a beautiful chair. Like, solid wood. I'm actually so surprised that it wasn't more expensive. I think it was like $250 or like, or less than that or something. Or maybe it was a little bit more than $250, but I don't know. This I would have paid way more for. It is gorgeous. Well, actually, I wouldn't have paid more for because I'm cheap AF. <laughs> but. Nevertheless, it is very comfortable, very cute, and actually, let me show you guys up close because the linen on this, it's like a linen chair, and it matches perfectly with the linen on my couch. Like, does this not look identical? It's literally the same piece of fabric. Wow, that worked out so perfectly, and it looks so good with that and just with everything. Now my only concern is that it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Well, I guess I knew that it was going to kind of be big. But I feel like two will just like make this space look a little too crazy. So I don't know. I might just like use one and put the other one either in my bedroom or somewhere else. But I mean, I'm still happy I got two. Like I can always use that somewhere else. But I'm going to assemble that guy quick. It was actually really easy to assemble. I don't know why I was making such a big deal. All I did was screw on the legs. So I'm happy about that. We love a quick assembly. I'll leave these uh, linked down below. So I managed to put both chairs together and this is what it looks like, guys. I'm so happy. Oh my God, everything looks so stunning in here. Like, how is this my apartment? I don't even know. So I love the chairs. I thought that they wouldn't fit, but it actually, both of them fit perfectly. This little side table I actually had outside on my balcony. I'm not gonna keep it here because I do like it on my balcony. I'm gonna get something very similar though. So I'm gonna see if I can stop by at Target today and see if they have any. And then maybe, I mean, I feel like it's too late for a home goods run, but I might try that as well. But for this corner over here, like I'm not a fan of how small that plant looks over there. So I really wanna get a new one. So I'm like, you know what, let me just, check out Facebook Marketplace because, you know, I sell a lot of my stuff on there anyways. And then this person literally just posted less than an hour ago that they have like a bunch of fiddle leaf fig trees that are five feet tall, which is exactly what I need. I feel like it'll be the perfect height for that space. And I actually have a planter that is about like two feet or like a foot and a half. So I think like if I put it on top of there, it'll literally come up to here and it'll just complete this space and make it look so, so beautiful. So, um, luckily he only lives 10 minutes away from me. So I'm just gonna go and pick that up. And it was like less than $100. Most fiddly figs are like $200 or like in the 150s range. So I was very, very happy. And it was just fate, honestly, alhamdulillah, because I just went on Facebook Marketplace and it was the first thing that I saw. So I'm really excited. And I think I've always actually wanted a fiddle leaf tree, but 
every time I've gone to purchase it, it's just been so expensive and I just can't justify spending that much on a plant that I could potentially kill. But you know what? I took very good care of Julie. I'm gonna have to find her a new place, a new corner in this home, but I took very good care of her. She is thriving, okay? She is living in this apartment. And that is just the perfect corner because fiddle leaf figs need like 10 hours plus of indirect sunlight. And uh, my corner is northeast facing unit. So it's just gonna be the perfect addition. So let's go and get her. You guys, the plant has been secured. It looks so cute. It is way taller than I thought. You can see it in the back over here. But oh my God, what a great deal. I am so happy with it and it's like the thing that I like about it is it's not too fluffy like it's not the the leaves aren't too big because I don't want like whoever's sitting on the couch to just like be fighting with <laughs> the leaves of my plant so it's just gonna be like perfect for this corner and I can't wait to see how it all looks so I'm gonna drive home and hopefully I can put this into the house myself I feel like it should be easy though I mean he made it look like it was really light so maybe that's just because he's a strong man but <laughs> I'm so excited, got a new plant, look at her. But I am obsessed with how it looks, I cannot wait. All right, we'll see you back at home. All right, just got home, so I'm gonna rearrange Julie and put in the new plant to her new home. We're gonna have to name her. So let me know what y'all wanna name her after you see her, because she is beautiful and she needs a beautiful name. And Julie put on a few pounds this quarantine, huh? Like mother, like daughter. All right, y'all. Let's welcome her to the family. I'm not really sure if I should use the shorter planter or the taller one, because I feel like she's already pretty tall. But let's see. What do y'all think? Not that you can really give me a response right now, but... Hmm. I feel like the taller planter actually might look better. Might just rise it a little bit, so let's try that one. Ow! Ooh! Ooh, that hurt. Ouch. Charlie! That really hurt! I'm just gonna wipe her down slightly because she's been outside. What a perfect addition to that corner, if I do say so myself. Can y'all say perfection? Let me zoom y'all out. She is just perfect. For this space, I literally could not have found a better plant. Like, it's just the right height, just the right color. It looks so cute in this corner. I'm so happy. And my planter turned out perfect. All these little bottom leaves over here covered the fact that the planter is just slightly small, but she is looking beautiful. Like, mashallah, y'all. Mashallah. Look at God creation. Look at God's creation, y'all. Wow. So, help me by naming her down below. I always find it's important to have a name for your plant so she can feel appreciated, okay? Julie has been thriving because I speak to her with positive affirmations every day, you know? So I want her <laughs> to be thriving as well. So leave your suggestions below in the top comment. That will be her name. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is not the morning once again. It is 1.43 p.m., but wow, I can't believe it's only 1.43. Today felt really long, <laughs> but I actually put on some makeup today because I had to film some content. Nabat is actually coming in tomorrow, so I just wanna make sure that I get all the videos that I need to film out of the way and like branded stuff and all that kind of stuff so that I'm not like working too much while she's here because I want her to enjoy her time obviously. So yeah, I am about to make breakfast slash brunch. I don't really know. I'm gonna have my first meal of the day basically. And 
Oh, my mommy's calling. I was about to just show you a really cool device, but I guess it's gonna have to wait. I will see you in a second. <laughs> I got this, uh, it's like a fabric trimmer. It's like a shaver, but for fabric. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like this. I'm talking to my mom on, uh, on WhatsApp, by the way. Yeah, I got it on Amazon. It's like, it has like different speeds. Yeah. And then, yeah, that, it gets rid of it. Yeah, so let's give this a try. Okay. I already kind of did, let me show them. Yeah, I did this side last night, so it's all good. But then here, yeah. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but there's like little like dots and stuff everywhere and it just makes the couch look old. Yeah. So, yeah, so you take it and then, and then you just shave it. So it like shaves off all of the little, we call them toot in our language, but all the little like, I don't even know what they're called in English, but <laughs> it shaves it all off so it literally makes your couch look brand new again. And then all of the stuff gets trapped in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks like dust, but it's like extra fabric. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is shook. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll leave a link for this down below. Um, I just found it on Amazon, but it basically just has a shaver over there, so all the little things go inside the holes, and then it cuts it all off, so then it leaves it looking... Yeah, it leaves it nice and clean. My couch looks so much better now. Oh my god. It was so like... I don't know the word in English, man. If you know, I guess fluff. It was so fluffy. Like, there was just all of these little, like, fluffs everywhere. And it was very annoying. So I'm glad that I got that situated. I'll probably do the rest of the couch a little bit later. But right now, I want to go to Target because I want to find a... Basically this, but for this area. Like, I think that looks cute. But... That, I, it belongs on my, you know, my balcony. So I want to have that there. And I want to get another one for here. So I'm going to see if um, Target has any good options. And we'll go from there. Um, I would want to go to Home Goods as well. But honestly, Home Goods is just so far. Like, it's just so far. I feel like World Market would have some cute ones too. I don't know why I didn't check last time. Okay, we'll go to both. 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 I said that's. So Canadian, oh my god, my Canadian, my Canadian accent just pops up randomly, both. We'll go to both, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> I ordered another one of these sets from Pink, Victoria's Secret Pink. I had like a magenta maroon version, but this is more my tone, so I got this. It's like this tan nude color, it's peachy nude, it's so beautiful, I feel like this. It's just me, you know? If I ever came out with my own merch or like a line or something, you would definitely see this color. Should I come out with merch? Let me know. <laughs> but I also got this necklace from Etsy. It says 1995. If you don't know, that is my birth year. And I love it so, so much. I just paired it up with this necklace from Missouri. And then I just have all my rings. This ring is from True Curated Designs. And then the chain link one is from Missouri. The solid gold is uh, Cartier. And then this one is also from Missouri. So that is my kind of situation for today. Probably just going to throw on some sneakers and head out. I want to be back before the sun goes down because that's no fun. So... Yeah, I will see you guys hopefully at Target or in the car or something. Wow, I just, I anytime I'm vlogging here, I just can never get over the lighting. I'm just so happy. Just so happy with everything in this apartment. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. All praises to the Lord. Okay, let's go. In true Aisha fashion, I went in to look for an accent table. And I came out with, not an accent table, but... Three different packages of chocolates. <laughs> Are we really surprised though? I mean they had a sale. I couldn't I couldn't like not do it. Got some Lindor. Got some Lindor Snickerdoodle. I've never heard of this flavor before. But I love Snickerdoodles. And then I got this Ghirardelli chocolate assortment with eggnog white chocolate, peppermint bark, and 
pumpkin spice caramel milk chocolate. Oh, my mouth is literally watering. I kind of want one right now. But um, they had one accent table, but it was like $90. Or sorry, it was uh, $70. And it was just a basic black one. And I don't know. I just feel like if I wanted a basic black one, I could just find one, you know, really cheap somewhere else. So I decided against it. I am going to check World Market, I think. Maybe I'll look on their website first and see if they have anything before going in store. Yeah, I mean, if I don't find anything, it's honestly not the end of the world. I have that like outdoor one in the meantime, so I can just use that. And then when I come back in the new year, I can look for an actual like nice accent table or something. So I kind of want to try these chocolates. So let's try, I'm kind of curious as to what the snickerdoodle one <laughs> tastes like. Mmm, smells good. It's white chocolate. I'm not usually a fan of white chocolate, but... The only snickerdoodle part is like, there's like little bits of cookie inside the outer shell, but the inside is just regular milk chocolate, or white chocolate. But I would say it does kind of taste like a snickerdoodle. Just not as intense of a flavor as I would have liked. I feel like I, I want to see what milk chocolate pumpkin spice caramel tastes like because that sounds like an experience mm. there's definitely that pumpkin spice flavor in it and i'm not sure if i'd like it it's not bad but it's not my favorite this is what actually intrigued me at first. I was like, ooh, I kind of want some peppermint bark. And then I looked at the other flavors and I was like, ooh, I kind of want to try that too. And then I was like, well, I can't get Lindor without getting the original milk chocolate. So that's how I ended up with three. It's like chocolate on the bottom and then peppermint on the top. Mmm, that one's probably my favorite. Okay, I'm just gonna go home. So guys, I just got home. I had to go back out to Ulta because I had to get a product for this video that I'm filming. So yeah, I just like ran quickly to Ulta and came back. But yeah, I'm gonna unbox everything that I got today because my building actually has this cool thing. It's called like valet trash. <laughs> so every night, um, except for like Friday and Saturday nights, Someone literally picks up your trash outside your door, so it's quite amazing. They also take like your recycling and stuff, so I'm very happy about that um, because honestly, I hate doing that task. I hate taking out the trash. I hate having to like break down my boxes and like haul them downstairs and all of that. So it's really nice that someone does it for you. So I just have to actually break them down, which now I'm kind of used to it. So. I ordered Pharrell's new skincare line, Human Race, because I want to give it a try. It's like a three-minute facial routine. Rice powder cleanser, lotus enzyme exfoliator, and humidifying cream. Honestly, if this makes me look even like a quarter amount like Pharrell, Pharrell's pushing 50, and he looks literally my age. He looks 25, so I'm going to give his products a try. I'm gonna give these a try for the next like four weeks or so and then get back to you guys on my thoughts. And then I also, I stopped by my old place uh, to pick up a package. I just had a feeling there'd be another package there waiting for me and there was. So, mental note to remind this brand that I moved. Okay, this is interesting. It's literally like a mascara wand. Exclusively on Ulta. December 16th and in store December 26th. So I guess it is a new product. But it's the Idol Lash. Ooh, I do love the Idol collection in general. Okay, this is actually a cool package. Oh, it matches what I'm wearing perfectly. That's that's literally so funny. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's like a bristle brush. I'm, no I'm normally not a huge fan of like bristle brushes, but there have been some that I really enjoy. So maybe I will like this one. I already have mascara on, so there's no point in doing that, but I'm gonna give this a try. It's such a cute PR package, though. Hit your lash goals. So yeah, I have to film, like, two videos tonight. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to it, honestly. I kind of just want to relax, but work is work. It's the busiest season of work for me, and you know what? They're all good problems to have, so alhamdulillah. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on that, and I will catch you guys later. All right, y'all. One video down. 
one potentially to go. It's not even that late. It's like 7 p.m. But I'm exhausted for some reason. I think I filmed like a skincare video and like a self-care video. And like anytime I do my skincare, I think my body is just used to me doing it right before bed. So it's like, I don't know, some sort of reaction. So I'm like really tired. <laughs> but I haven't even eaten dinner yet. So I'm going to be making dinner. i got to close all my blinds. People can see right through my apartment if I don't put my blinds down. <laughs> at least at nighttime, because I have floor to ceiling windows, which is wonderful, but not so much for privacy. So, this is my little nighttime routine putting down the blinds. For dinner, I'm gonna have just leftovers. I'm gonna warm up the truffle pasta that I made the other night. And to kind of revive it, I just put some water in it. And I think I'm actually gonna add some spinach this time because I need some more some more greens. I haven't had a vegetable in a very long time. <laughs> That's kind of it. I feel like I should probably end this vlog because tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow Nabat gets here, which I'm really excited. So you guys will obviously see a vlog from that. I also did manage to order a side table. So I actually found one on Target. So I assume you guys will see that in the next vlog. It's just a cute little black stool. It was kind of pricey for what it is but I feel like it'll just look cute I feel like just having accents of black really helps just ground this space a little bit more um I also have to put my <laughs> couch back together but yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did let me know in the comments below by giving this video a thumbs up and all that good stuff subscribe if you are new I cannot stop staring at my fiddly fig plant like I'm just so shocked at how beautiful it is and how inexpensive it was like, this is a real plant, y'all. It doesn't even look real. It's insane. That's besides the point, though. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. And I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Mwah.